Hey guys, Cara here, and welcome back to my channel. So today we are on the finale of Lucifer, season one, episode 13. Cannot wait for this. I know it's gonna be juicy. I have never wanted two characters to get together in my life, I don't think. And following episode 12, it's not looking good for my ship. <laughs> Practically any ship that I ship goes down like the Titanic. It is hitting every damn iceberg on the way down and I'm, I'm just so upset by it. And I just want them together. I want my ship to set sail. Chloe turning the gun on Lucifer. It's gonna affect him a lot, I think. But I guess, without further ado, let's see how the finale goes. I'm kind of scared, but let's do this. Come on, detective. You can't seriously believe I killed that pathetic malcontent. Doesn't matter what I believe. That's all that matters, detective. Oh, it's all that matters to him as well. Put your hands in the air and surrender yourself. Don't forget that you're vulnerable when you're around her, Lucifer. All of humanity's sins are the devil's fault, right? I mean, I thought you knew different, I've but I was chills. wrong. You're just like all the others. No, she's not. She's different. We know this. Riddle me with bullets so you can go home, drink a nice cold beer, and feel better about yourselves. Don't shoot him. He's unarmed. Oh, you don't know that. Maybe I have a gun. That's in the air. Do it. No! Oh my god, tell me he missed, tell me he missed. What just, what just happened? Search the area. He can't have gotten far. I'm sorry. That's a little bit silly that. There was many people there and not none of them are gonna just freak the hell out that he's just disappeared like that. Amenadiel saved him. Even though he wanted him dead, right? Why just swoop in and stop it? Wouldn't let someone else turn me to hell, is that it? Done here. Had my fun on Earth. There's no reason for me to stay anymore. Take me back to hell. No. No? What? I just wish Lucifer would have said, Chloe, hey, it's Malcolm. You didn't hear? What happened to him? He disappeared. He's on the run. Ow! Let me see that. No, don't I let him have it. Like yeah. Hey, I'll take you to the station. No. It's crazy sharp. Do you know this is gonna sound crazy, especially after what just happened, but I think Lucifer is innocent. Yes, he is. Pretend you don't know Lucifer. I already like it. Our suspect is a club owner who likes to tell people he's the devil. You're not really selling his innocence. He's a man who embraces desire, lives by his passion. Now think about the body. The guy was executed, single bullet to the head. There's no passion behind this. This isn't him. Who would want to set him up? Malcolm. I don't know. We may have found the murder weapon. Okay. Test it for prints and DNA. That's the gun that he got for Malcolm. So he knows now. Lucifer's innocent. It was what? Malcolm. This is getting so good. Okay, we have to talk. He's gonna tell her everything, hopefully. Bloody thing you've wanted this entire time. Yeah, it just surprised me that. Did I punch you in the head too hard? Maze was right, Lucy. People have died because of us. Because of you, you mean? Yes, because of me. Right. <laughs> Let's just clear that up. <laughs> I'm innocent. And I need to make this right. I need to find Malcolm, and I need to send him back to hell. Yes. Will you help me, brother? Why? Yes, he will. <sighs> One last bit of punishment on the way out. I don't like the sound of the last bit of punishment before he goes back. This show is really good, isn't it? It's so good. Huh? He's told her. We do not get to hear what he said. Are you kidding me? You lied to me. I don't even know you. You shot a man in cold blood. I shot a Malcolm. Maybe just punch him again. Everything so good I saw at Palmetto, it was all true. You let them think I was crazy. One hit him again. You let me think I was crazy. I'm sorry. If you could take it all back, I would. You can't take it back. Oh my god, I don't like when she's upset. I heard the voice crack. But you can make this right. No. Prove Lucifer is innocent. Lucifer thinks I abandoned him. We need to find him. Where's Lucifer? Even if I knew, I wouldn't tell you. You've never liked me. Why? Because every day was a party. Every sin, every desire Ellie offered. We took part. And then he met you. you. So you think it's my fault that the party's over? That and the fact that you're hunting him down like a dog. I don't think he killed the preacher. I need you to help me find him before another cop does. If he gets to Malcolm first, he really will go down for murder. I like seeing these two play off each other, like when they're in the same scene. I hope we see more of that. You can't come with me. You said you needed my help finding him, right? I don't see anybody else backing you up. Plus, Maze would be great to have with you, because she's such a badass, isn't she? LAPD, Malcolm. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Well, if you don't make good money, why do you do this job? 
Because I get to shoot people, which is something you should keep in mind. Bullets work on me. Because I hate when people get away with things they shouldn't. And you like to shoot people. Yeah. And to think I almost killed you in your sleep that one time. Wait, she what? was gonna kill her in his sleep. Oh, now I know why he likes working with you. Uh, okay. Malcolm, it's the police! Stop firing and put the gun down! Sorry, I thought you were my husband. Do you have any idea where he might have gone? He said he was gonna go get a beer. There's an old brewery on 3rd. Mm-hmm. A drug dealer named Tommy Campolongo works out of there. You two will stay in a holding cell while I... How can you not freak out at that? If you miscreants don't mind, we're looking for Malcolm Graham. Hand him over and we can all be on our way without too much fuss. What if Chloe turns up? What about your mortality situation? Well, it's kind of a non-sitch when the detective's not around. I'll explain later, but for now, we're just, you know, enjoy the moment. Yes, we get a fight sequence. <laughs> Sorry, bro, genuine mistake. <laughs> to think we wasted all that millennia fighting each other, right? We still need to find Malcolm. Absolutely. You know, <laughs> if we split up, we'll cover more ground. Oh no, Chloe's there. I had a feeling. So obviously Lucifer's vulnerable now. And they've split up. Of course they are. So we can't even slow down that time. Like if a bullet fires. Oh my god, because he got the blade. Another deal. Oh my god, stop. Leave me and go get him. You know how much I hate being in anyone's debt. What happened? He was struck with a blade not of this world, Maze. I'll handle this. How? Find him. He'll be okay, right? He's gonna be fine. Right? Malcolm, freeze! Chloe, Stop. please be careful. Don't move. Why would she point the gun at him? Oh, you don't know what he's done. I'm not here to arrest you, Lucifer. I know you're innocent. I always have. So let's catch this bastard together and put an end to all this. Off, oh, Mazik. I made my peace with death. No! Whether I go to heaven or hell. I know exactly where you're going. Nowhere. It would take something divine to heal me. The feather from his wings. You took that from Lucifer? I kept it a secret. I thought I could use it to get us back home. I knew it'd come back up, but I didn't think it'd be for this. And you'd give that to me? They have healing properties? Okay. I'm here to turn myself in. What are you doing? Did not see that coming I removed either. a firearm from evidence lockup, and I gave it to Detective Malcolm Graham. The crime that Mr. Morningstar is suspected of. No more Detective Douche? Well, not today at least. <laughs> Uh, Trixie's calling? I need to take this. Hello, Decker. No. Welcome. Oh my god, the chills. Pulled her out of a boring class for some bonding time. Oh, I hate this Here's guy. Hi, hey, Mommy. Why would he do this? With He's not got the blade okay, anymore, has he? So. Lucifer, out of this. Just you. Or she dies. I can't even imagine what she's going through right now. If someone was to take Grayson, oh my gosh. Ah, there you are. Is everything all right, Detective? Yeah, of course. I'll be right back. He knows. He knows that something's up. Lucifer, please. Although she makes him vulnerable, so he's not got his immortality when he's around her, this is an issue. Put your hand in the air. Walk towards me peacefully. We will have no choice but to shoot you with our new bazooka. What? We've actually been waiting months and months to use it, so on second thoughts, please speed away. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, I could ask you this. Could ask you the same thing. Malcolm has Trixie. If he sees you, he'll kill her. I'm sorry, but I can't risk it. Her life's at stake. Right, so you're just going to get both of you killed then, are you? He needs this money to leave town. I won't give it to him until I'm she's safe. Terrified. What about your safety? Trixie is all that matters. To take I don't have I... time to argue with you, Lucifer. I realize how bad this can go, but I don't have a choice. This is my daughter. Promise me you'll let me go alone. If 
Fine. You have my word. <sighs> so he's not gonna go and help? Trixie? Alright, easy, Decker, easy. There, you happy? And once I get my money, sure. So where is it? Not without Trixie. Oh, come on, Decker. Malcolm, that's the deal. We're gonna play a game, all right? I need you to hide until I can come find you. Oh man, I want to play a game. I know you don't. Oh my gosh. I need you to go hide really, really well, okay? It's all there, it's in the bag. Please say that there's explosives in there or something. Is this really what you did with your second chance? Please tell me Chloe's just gonna move far and far away, get Trixie and run, so he's gonna be safe. <laughs> oh my god, no. <laughs> Chloe, you should have left. <gasps> oh my gosh! Bet you never expected to miss this thing so soon. <laughs> no worry. You won't be going alone. I'll be sending Decker along right behind you. Excuse dad. He's calling for his dad. <laughs> I need a favor. I'll do as you ask. In exchange. All I ask is that you protect Chloe. What is happening? He died? It's open. The gates of hell are open. And now he's just back? I'm so confused. Hello, Malky. <laughs> I've got you quiet. I'll be back. You're looking for this? I know a guy. Apparently, he wants me back here. So he used the coin? One year, certainly. So if he, anything happens to him again, he's not going to be able to get back, right? You promised you'd let me go alone. True. But I uh, didn't say anything about following. Loophole. Someone's escaped from hell. I think he wants me to bring our jailbird back. Yes, sir. Oh, so someone's on the run? Well, it shouldn't be too hard to track down a single errant soul. You're afraid? Damn right I am. Who could possibly scare you, brother? Who escaped hell? Mum. What? Oh my gosh. That's the way that they've ended that there. Let's discuss. <laughs> I freaking loved that episode. That was a finale and a half. I, I don't even know where to begin. So much happened in that moment. Okay. Let's start with my favourite ship. <laughs> Chloe and Lucifer. Am I disappointed that we didn't even get a kiss this season? I am. I am a little bit disappointed. However, I think that we got a lot more than that. We've the, the friendship and the relationship that these two have is so complex because they care for each other so much. There's also there's also like the banter that they have which is fantastic as well as the mystery behind why his powers don't work on Chloe and why Chloe makes him vulnerable and vice versa. I think it's easier from her point of view because he makes her vulnerable because of her feelings for him, that she's confused by him, she's intrigued by him. So that bit, I understand. But obviously from the other perspective, why is Chloe having this effect on him? Why her? Out of all of the people, there's something about Chloe that is different. There was a part of me that was thinking it's solely because he has the feelings for her, but if I go back to the pilot, his powers didn't work from the get-go. So then that that's what makes me wipe that out of my mind and makes me think that there, there's something more. Maybe his dad or his mum has created her or done something with Chloe that is affecting Lucifer. Like, has she been planted there? I don't know. I, I just know that I want to know more about that for sure. The thought of Trixie being in danger, by the way, really triggered me. Whether it's because I'm a mum now, I don't know, but it just got me. Trixie's just so special and she should be protected at all costs. And I'm glad that she was in this episode as well. I liked the little loophole that Lucifer used when it comes to 
going to help Chloe as well. And the relief as well, and the little smile when everything worked out well, and he said, well, I didn't say I wouldn't follow. I just love those little moments. I just think that they're brilliant. They they add to the, the love that I have for the characters, and it, it makes their relationships just grow, I think, as well. I loved the fact that when Lucifer asked if she was okay, and she was like, oh, yeah, I'm fine. He still knew. He knew that something was wrong there. Okay, I'm flailing over this relationship, I see. Let's move on. Let's talk about Detective Douche. I'm sorry, Dan. So he handed himself in, which was a huge moment, I think. I'm very disappointed that we didn't get the explanation of Dan saying what happened to Chloe. It was just a punch to the face and then obviously the uproar after it. But I get that they had a lot to cram into the episode, so cutting that just speeds things up. But I would have liked to see and hear what he had to say. Only a minor niggle there, I think. But Dan has definitely proved himself a little bit more by doing that. I'm, I know that he did it for, for the love for Chloe, but at the same time, he, he went about everything in the wrong way, 100%. And Malcolm, he was just a piece of work, wasn't he, from the get-go. And to think that I felt sorry for him when he was in the bed and his family were so sad around him. And he, we saw his wife, and then obviously we saw his wife again in the finale, and it was a very different scenario. And she said that he's changed, but he was a dodgy guy prior to going to hell, so I don't know. I really enjoyed seeing Maze and Chloe in scenes. I know I mentioned that through the reaction, but I did enjoy that. So I'm hoping that we get to see more of that in season two. I also really like the Amenadiel and Maze relationship because they shouldn't be together yet when they are, it just seems right as well. And you could see the fear in Maze's eyes when she saw Amenadiel injured, especially because it was her blade that caused the injury. But she saved this feather from Lucifer's wings. And I, I knew that it would come back because as soon as she it showed that she kept this feather in the box, I just totally forgot about it though, especially in this moment. And I didn't think that it would have healing properties of that magnitude either. So it'll be interesting as well to see if Amenadiel explains to Lucifer that that's what happened or if that's just going to be a secret that they both keep and he'll be none the wiser. So he did indeed burn his real wings. Now that I know that <laughs> the wings had power themselves, Lucifer, what were you thinking? <laughs> and well done Maze for keeping a feather. I wish you could have kept more to be fair rather than just the one lonely one. Maybe just a handful would have been <laughs> definitely helpful. And the coin as well. So he's used this coin. Well, I say he's used it. His dad technically used it, didn't he? To get him back there. So he has no more coins, which worries me because if something does happen again, how is he going to get back to Earth if he ends up in hell? And his mum's on the loose now as well. I can't wait to see the next episode. That was such a good finale. They did an awesome job. I think that this whole season as a whole has been extremely entertaining. I love these characters, like I've said. It's kept me hooked from the get-go and yeah, some episodes were stronger than others, but that's like in any show. I love the comedy of this, the humour. I think Tom Ellis does an amazing job at portraying Lucifer. And I like the twist as well, that their portrayal of the devil, I just think it's fantastic and I'm so glad that I started this show. Shout out to Toasted as well, for, again, for pushing me to go down this row. I do not regret it in the slightest. I think this show is absolutely amazing and I just want to watch more. I hope you guys have enjoyed these reactions. Thank you so much for following my journey along with the show and for those that have started the show because they've watched these reactions as well. So thank you to you as well. I want to get this show out to more people. I can't, can't believe that I've waited this long to watch it. I want to see more, I really do. If you enjoyed this reaction, please give it a cheeky thumbs up and subscribe you know, if you want to, but there's no pressure here. And I really hope to see you all again soon for the next one. Please don't forget I have all of these extended reactions over on my Patreon. So please check those out and I have links to my social medias, PO Box and my second channel will be in the description below so check those out as well and I hope to see you all again soon for the next one. Thank you so much for watching guys. Bye!